The signing ceremony symbolizes World Bank's resumption of direct budgetary support to Malawi after 10 years. The bank says of the 137 million US dollars, 80 million is a grant and 57 million US dollars will be released during crisis. Speaking during the ceremony, President Chagwera said the return of direct budgetary support is a sign of confidence development partners have in Malawi. Dr. Chakwera said this is a result of his government's bold steps in implementing serious reforms. He said the support will improve private sector growth, which is crucial for the country's development. Malawians know painfully well that this has been a, a very tough year for our country, which started with car outbreak in every district, the crop destroying drought in the northern region, and a devastating cyclone across the southern region. This climate is piled on top of the economic ruins left by previous shocks like COVID-19, tropical storms, Anna and Gombe, which destroyed a third of our electricity generation capacity, should have left our economy on its knees, but thanks to the support of our partners like the World Bank. On his part, World Bank Country Director for Malawi, Nathan Belete, has congratulated Malawi for the efforts made in taking both steps that are crucial for economic recovery. Belete said this is a new phase for Malawi's trajectory and growth and will help to pull Malawi out of poverty. He has since pledged World Bank's continued support to Malawi through social protection programs, among others. The World Bank is... Uh is grateful for the opportunity to have been involved in a reform pro program with the government and we believe the government has made strong commitments as demonstrated through the approval of both this development policy operation of the World Bank and the extended credit facility of the IMF. So we commend the authorities and we encourage them to, to stay the course and continue uh, the strong macroeconomic uh, discipline in order to benefit all Malawians. Meanwhile, the World Bank has disclosed that by the end of this year, it will support Malawi with 850 million US dollars.